Big Elvis with you here for a special review today. These are from GCD and they are the Mitsubishi Fuso Fighter 1024 from 2017. Here is your information. So I don't know that we're going to be able to read any of that. It looks like it's all foreign language there, which is probably why we don't see these in the U.S. very often. But we got it in the Gulf livery and also in the Spoon series. So let's get cracking, and I'll get it out the plastic, and we will check them out. All right, we're getting into it. Got them cut open. Let's slide them out of the box and see what's in them. Looks like all kinds of goodies. Now, this one is number 290. This is the spoon. So, GCD, I uh, don't know exactly what brand that is. I was hoping they'd have the whole thing, some of you guys might know, uh, but Sun Art International Enterprises Limited, there's your PC code if you want to check it out. Uh, excuse me. Allergies always get to me. All right. It does come with a little polishing cloth, which is cool. Let's slide this outside packaging off. I can tell you it is very heavy. We have a pair of tweezers. So there's going to be some tiny pieces. Tell you it right now, there is a mirror on the side, which I'm sure is very fragile. I'm gonna try to wiggle this out of here. Hoping the tissue paper will be helpful for this. But it appears not. I can get a fool. Wow, she is tight in here. So you want to be very careful. You don't mess up the. Uh, Mirrors. Oh, she is tight in there. Okay, we get her out. I can tell you right now, the body is all die cast. Very heavy. Very shiny chrome. Fuso Mitsubishi truck. See the seating inside. It is right hand drive. The detail work on the mirrors is amazing. But I would say that they will be very fragile, so you don't want to be uh, messing around with them too much. It actually has steering. So underneath you have your motor detailing, transmission, drive shaft detailing, your rear tires, your spare tire, let's 
see how this the door does come down the door is metal feels to be there is your sliding ramp and this is probably where this is going to come in handy That is <laughs> stuck way up in there. And I somehow from what I see which is right here it's supposed to be like a hydraulic jack. I think they're supposed to work. Well, let me see. See the pads do turn. They don't come up out of there. But the reason why I say that is, on the back of the truck, you can see the uh, ramps. How it is, it jacks, hydraulic jacks lift the truck up. They do have the pads, but it appears that it does not come up. I'm taking my time with this, let's see what's in here. Lots of little bits and pieces. And I would say, if you look, you can see there's little holes right there. So I would say those are tire stops. So depending on what you want to put in, the, put in there, it will depend on which tire stops you put. <laughs> so, very highly detailed steerable front suspension. You can see those hydraulics Looks like they will come down. You're just going to have to grab them hard enough. You can look in there and you see where the post is. There's one there. I don't know for sure how we get that down. All right, as you can see, I got one of them down. Uh, I had to take this and kind of wiggle it. Uh, that's what it looks like. And it does make the truck set where you could drive a vehicle up into the, up into there. Looking to see if I know it's not a, uh, Spoon, livery, but let's just see. Now, this is a mini GT, so it does come up into there. If you had your little stops, the hydraulic would go down, and uh, let's see if I can do this without tearing something up. So, put the hydraulics down. That does touch the ground all the way out. The car will drive up in there and hit your wheel stops wherever you decide to put them at. It does slide in. So that's what it would look like. 
Yeah. That's what it would look like inside. Like I said, if you put your little stops in it, it keep the car from rolling around inside. So that thing comes out pretty nicely. You can see the little holes right there, right in here. And there's some toward the front. This deal here, unless you want to display it up, I would not, uh, probably not jack with it too much because it feels to be like it'd be very fragile. Maybe if you worked it a few times, it does slide back up in there. But so much detail work. Now I got fingerprints all over it, but that's what they send the little cloth for. So you got your little microfibered cloth. You wipe your prints right off of it. So very, very detailed. But in the same fact, although it's very detailed, it is pretty fragile. 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 All right. So there is the spoon one. The golf one, we're not going to get quite into it, but it also comes with the microfiber. It also comes with the tweezers. It also comes with those stops for the ramp which there you can see the holes much better. There's the ones for the front. That's where you put those little dudes and they will keep your uh, vehicle that you put inside of it from rolling around. Fishing out the River inside. Now I am into the Gulf livery. Very nicely done on this vehicle. Very sharp. Tail lights look to be inserted. Big golf sign down the back. Looks like they have inserted turn signals, inserted headlights. Fuso Mishvishi mirrors are painted on this one to match the body, which I think is pretty cool. Chrome mirrors, are, you know, they stick out, but uh, this with the painted mirrors. Of course, it does have the steerable suspension. There's your feet pads. Body color on this one is all black, so it's a little harder to see everything, but you can see the spare tire, the dualies. Everything does roll. So it rolls actually pretty good. Now, I don't remember the cost. I think I paid like $50 a piece for these. They are uh, very high quality for $50. But it's not something that I would want to uh, just keep open and out unless I had a nice, good area. Now, the one thing... 
but I think they need to work on. This one's staying pretty good. But you can see there it popped open. This one. I mean, it stays. But you get to be... See, now this one don't want to stay. There we go. So there it is. Spoon. Mitsubishi Fuso. And the Gulf livery who so you tell me what you think would it be something that you you had a golf car or a spoon car that you would want to uh, set out and display i believe these would be a nice one for uh, somebody's office or somebody's uh pride uh You know they're 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 very proud of a of a vehicle, uh, holy grail, your grail type. This would be a grail type uh, vehicle to get. All right, thank you so much for tuning in. Please give us a like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for new content coming out. We usually put out two or three videos on the weekend, and uh, maybe one through the week. All right, we'll catch y'all later. Stay safe. Be good to each other. Big Elvis Diecast Review.